and I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in over a month, so I'm really excited for you guys to see this look. I wore this look in my Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing from last month, and a lot of you guys requested it. I would consider this kind of like an Arabic smoky eye just because, I don't know, like the cat eye and stuff, it just really reminds me of an Arabic look, and I love wearing this look when I feel like looking very glamorous and very dramatic. Of course, this look is not like an everyday look at all, but it is definitely like a party, clubbing um, kind of look. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Alright, so I've already primed my eyes with this Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Now what I'm doing is taking this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, and it's called Coco Bear. You guys know I use this shadow for every look. I'm going to be applying this on my crease with a fluffy brush and just... Really make sure I blend this out. This is going to work as my transition color. So like I said, you want to just apply this on your crease. And now I'm going to be taking my Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm going to be taking the color Sable. And I'm going to be using a smaller crease brush for this. I'm going to be applying this on my crease, as you can tell. And then I'm also going to go a little bit on my lid. But you don't want to bring it all the way into the lid. Just stop halfway and just make sure you blend it also up to the crease so it could blend seamlessly with Coco Bear. I'm then taking this NYX Infinite Shadow Stick and this is in the color Blackout. You could use any pencil liner you'd like but this is the one that I've been loving lately because it does not move. Now what I'm doing is just blending it out with a pencil brush and later on I'm going to go in the inner part of the eye and go in with a smaller pencil because this um, shadow stick is a little bit uh, chubby to fit in the inner part of the eye. I'm now going to go in with a smaller pencil. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil in the color Black Velvet. And what I'm going to do is just tightline my eyes. I suggest you don't skip that step. I used to be the person that would never tightline my eyes. And believe me, now that I do, I see a huge difference. It just makes your eyes look a lot more darker I can't really explain it but it makes a big difference when you tighten your eyes just do it and then I'm gonna be taking that same pencil and applying that in the inner part and then going over the rest of the lid just to make it a little bit more darker and I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush and really just blend that all out I'm going in with this NYX two timer um, and it comes with two sides I'm using the side with a pen and what I'm gonna do is just do that little wing in the inner tear duct and you want to make sure you use a very thin liner for this so it can be very precise. And then I'm going to go back in with that Urban Decay pencil and just take that underneath my eyes and also apply that on my waterline. And then of course I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and really blend this all out. I'm going back in with my NYX Infinite Shadow Stick just because I like it better. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Just apply this underneath my eyes and blend it out. And then I'm also going to go on my waterline with my Urban Decay Pencil and just align that a little bit more. I'm then going in with my Naked 2 palette and grabbing Blackout just because it's like my favorite black eyeshadow ever. I'm just going to take that and apply it where I apply the liner. And I did end up doing a wing liner, but honestly, I ended up hating it anyways. So I removed it right after this, so I'm not even going to show you guys how I did it. I'm then grabbing Espresso and applying this right on the outer corner, blending that Blackout a little bit more. I did mix this in with some black eyeshadow as well. And I'm just going to be blending that out very, very well, as you guys can see, with a small crease brush. Then I'm going in with a denser brush and grabbing the black shadow. I'm now taking one of my favorite shadows. This is from Elizabeth Mott, and it is called Champagne, and I love this shadow. I'm going to be taking a very small brush. This brush came in the electric palette. And I'm going to just be applying that on the rest of my lid. For my brow bone, I'm going to be taking this MAC shadow called Gesso, or gesso and I'm going to be applying that um, just right on the brow bone and I love the shadow because 
it's not super shimmery it's a perfect brow highlight I'm then just coating my lashes with my Maybelline Pumped Up Mascara. By the way, I already have my foundation done. I filmed a video showing you guys my foundation routine. So that includes foundation, contour, highlight. I'll have that video linked down below in case you guys are interested. When you guys requested this look, I had my Velour Lashes, which were Lash in the City. But if you watched my recent review that I did on the Velour Lashes, you'd know that they are no good. So I was obviously in the search for something very similar. And then the other day I was at Walmart and I came across these Revlon Lashes. And these are V92. It doesn't really have an exact name. It's just a V92. And they looked very similar to the Lash in the City by Velour. So I got these and I freaking love them. I'm now grabbing my NYX lip liner in the color Natural and just applying this on my entire lips not just outlining them but like I said all over my lips to give my lips a little bit of color I'm gonna be taking this NYX uh, hydrating lippy in the color watermelon cooler and I just like the combination of these two it just gives it a nice color so that completes this look thank you all so much for watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe please let me know what you thought of this look in the comments down below I love to hear you guys thoughts and opinions if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and plus it would just keep you updated with my new videos that I will be posting up soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye.